embroiled in endless battles, an era of warring states. The one village per country system didn't exist then. Ninja organizations were militia groups, divided by clan. In this world of constant strife, power was everything. The Uchiha clan was known all over the world as a warrior clan, with remarkable chakra and the Sharingan. And then there was the Senju clan of the forest, said to rival the Uchiha clan in strength. Their leader, Hashirama Senju, was the most powerful ninja of his time. Time and time again, the Uchiha and the Senju clans battled one another. However... fighting threatened to destroy both their clans. Members of both sides who believed it would banded together and created a new organization. It was later known as the village hidden in the woods. Uchiha and Senju were always like oil and water, unable to work together. To Madara, this was obvious. But he was betrayed by the others and left the village. And then, Madara became an avenger and challenged the Hidden Leaf to battle. in a battle to the death, one so world-shattering that it left the Earth itself scarred. And then, 
Madra. I had lost to Ashira. Madra Uchiha had been defeated, but the fight is far from over. I had no choice but to spark a new battle. It had been Madara Uchiha's plan. Beneath the banner of the Akatsuki, the wicked ninja gathered. The goal of the Akatsuki was to capture the tailed beasts and their incredible chakra. One by one, they set out on their hunt to return with the spoils of battle. One, Daedara, who fights with detonating clay. His target is Gara of the Sand, Jinchuriki of the one-tailed Shukaku. Beyond the distant storms, an assault on the village of the Hidden Sand begins. Wielding his arts, Daedara challenges the Kazekage. So you're the Kazekage, Gara. I'm responsible for protecting this village. Don't imagine that you'll get away with this. This looks like it's going to be fun, hmm? Let the battle begin! Okay, Kaze Kage, now I'm gonna take you someplace fun. Daedara's detonating clay rattled the Kaze Kage. In the end, he was successful in capturing the One Tail. However, this incident soon brought forth the ninja of the Hidden Leaf, allies of the Sand Village. 
It was Sasori of the Red Sand who confronted them. His challengers were the Leaf Kunoichi Sakura Haruno and Sasori's own grandmother, Shio. Regret, resignation, and emptiness. As apprehension welled in their breasts, Sasori drew forth a scroll. Rejoice, you unworthy dogs, for you shall meet your end at the hand of the third Kazekage. No way! Sakura, stay calm. I'm here. Do at least try to entertain me. Let the battle begin! Sakura and Chio were hard-pressed by Sasori's astounding prowess. The bitter fighting ended, however, with Sasori's defeat. For in the depths of Sasori's heart, a last vestige of feeling still remained. It was this emotion which led to the moment of weakness that brought him defeat. The Akatsuki's next move was to send Hidan and Kakuzu with their unique powers to the Hidden Leaf Village, where the Nine Tails Jinchuriki Naruto Uzumaki awaited. These two immortals were able to enter the village despite all the Hidden Leaf's resistance. But waiting to greet them along with his friends was the strongest ninja of the Hidden Leaf, Kakashi Hatake. Eager to avenge his master, and with a glint of rage in his eyes, Shikamaru Nara challenged Hidan. And Hidan raised his voice in joy, ecstatic at the new sacrifice presenting itself before him.